Ajde, razli se. Redi, ja sam pričao da sam braćao zatvor, da sam ja to i to sve da je to onaj... Ja sam pošteno govorio da sam braćao zatvor, ubilje za ksimi i to televizija. Nema šta to potrebe snima, to svijet zna. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Dot com. In December, Serbian forces occupied this town. And for the next three months, Croats and Serbs wrangled for control of Chaplina. All right, so that's me in 1992 in Western Herzegovina, learning the hard way that I wasn't really cut out to be a foreign correspondent. For example, I wasted 30 perfectly good minutes shooting this unnecessary stand-up when I should have been getting more video like this. However, standing there like an idiot in front of the camera did draw attention and people to me, and it created an incident, a small incident, that you may have heard me discuss a few times over the years. With all the uh, increased interest in uh, former Yugoslavia on the part of libertarians, I guess it's worth showing. Uh, this incident is probably happening about a, a hundred and a hundred or so miles uh, south of uh, what's currently called Liberland. Uh, it's not in Croatia, it's not on the Serbo-Croat border, it's in a Croatian-dominated section of uh, Bosnia, also known as Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's, it's at this point, in a restricted area, during wartime, where a member of the militia uh, comes up and uh, politely confronts me. He's a uh, Hrvatsko Vijeće Obrane, which means that he's part of the infamous HVO, which later opened a concentration camp in this town. Nevertheless, it's interesting how he treats... Well, anyway, first, okay, the, the HVO guy doesn't come up until after I start interviewing a Muslim. In the end, Croats won, but Chaplina lost. Now there is fear the front lines could return. Chakosti! Molim ponovno vidite, ja imam problem u moj fotoaparat. Nikada u povijesti muslimani Hrvati nisu, to je, mogu reći ja, kao neškolovan čovjek, da je to jedna, kako bi rekao, jedna porodica, jedna familia, jedna šta ja, jedna nacija, jedna to, mislim, nikada u povijesti mi se nismo, muslimani Hrvati nismo se imali riječ. Imam dvoje djeci, ženi, imam tri brata. Ima pet mjeseci su u srpskom logoru, pravi, zdravi, zatvorni. Do danas ih nisu ubili, možda će je sutra ubiti. Džemo Bajramović, ja uvijek uvijek što je učinio ovaj čovjek. Nemam ja vam... Nemam tako s tim. Neka, neka, neka snim je ovo, ja opušteno govorim ovo sve. Da je pustio čovjeka na miru, odmakte se od moga. Dobro, možeš. Je li red? Ajme, razli se. Ja sam pričao da sam braćao zatvor, da sam ja to i to sve da je to onaj... Ja sam pošteno govorio da sam braćao zatvor, ubilje za ksimi i to televizija... Nema šta to potrebe snima, to svijet zna. Da je zatvor i šta četnici rade i ostale stvari. E, to sam ja i rekao, u ostalom, ja ništa drugo. Ajmo, ajmo se razlići od momka, šta je? Ništa, ja sam samo svratio... Ajmo, gotovo, gotovo, završili smo. Ja, Odo... Da govorim samo malo hrvatsko. Ne, ja sam stvarno rekao da su moje braće, da su četim zatvorili tri brata, a sam ja ovdje. Dobro je u redu, je rekao, jesmo rekao? Jesam se. U redu, ajmo. Ajmo, kijemo, šta je? So, you see, I'm making the same mistake in those days that mainstream media still make today. That mistake is not focusing so much on the confrontation, wasting instead all this time doing stand-ups and trying to tell a scripted story. Anyhow, I was detained for about five minutes. The soldier, who I never even photographed, told me I needed to leave the area or someone would possibly come by and take my film. So that was my experience being in or near a restricted area and being confronted by Croatian authorities. You see how they treated me quite a bit better than they're treating the Liberlanders at least in some cases, at least they didn't arrest me, and the, they're, you know, they've been arresting quite a few Liberlanders in peacetime. Part of it, maybe, was, you know, in my case, the fact that I actually spoke some of the language. I wonder if the Liberlanders are bothering to do that, Al although I was only five un months into my language training at this point. At least it sort of gave them a reason to, res you know, to believe that I was respecting 
the locals in some form or fashion. Maybe it got me better treatment. By the way, I went back to this area just a few days later and no one bothered me. I found this interesting because how the HVO guy treated me better than so many American cops and American political operatives. You know, he at least issued me a warning without confiscating any video and without laying hands on me. Anyway, so with the renewed interest in restricted Croatian areas, I thought I'd just show you my experience in a restricted Croatian area now 23 years ago. <laughs> Some chuck? Porcupine Christians! Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. Although they don't get that much attention, perfectly normal Christian families are an important part of the Free Stater movement, and pork fest specifically. You'll find a cluster of them at campsites two and four. Drop by if you like. Pork fest is just as accepting of religion as it is of libertines. To learn more, visit Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com.